It was a pretty good performance from the point of view that uh, we got the five points that we're after. Uh, it wasn't easy, we had to work hard for that as you could see, but um, certainly pleased to have done that. Um, very pleased to have held them scoreless, so uh, that doesn't happen very often at this level of the game. And yeah, Pretty pleased with Byron Hayward coming in, um, that we achieved that. and. You know, the boys working very, very hard um, even after the 80th minute and looking to score points. So, you know, it's sort of uh, something that the boys want to do. They want to play a bit more. And I think at times we achieved that. And at times we may have overplayed. So uh, still plenty to work on. If you were being perfectionist, what would you look to add to that performance? <clears throat> look, I think in the first half we were caught out quite a lot um, in terms of our reaction to the ball going out, a couple of quick throw-ins, which meant we had a, a jagged defensive line and they got too much yardage on us. So... Just little things like that, making sure that we're, we're awake and, and uh, we don't expose ourselves like that again. Um, you know, the scrum was probably a bit messy at times and, you know, there were times when I think we had numbers defensively but we were holding rather than pressing and so there's, uh, there's plenty to work on, as I say, which is a pleasing thing at this stage of the competition. What about Josh Adams' hat-trick scoring tries for fun still? Isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <clears throat> what I liked was his last try. You know, he could have easily just parked up out on his wing but um, after more than 80 minutes of play. He's in close to the ruck looking for the ball and uh, you know, using his strength to get over the try line. So, very pleased for him. Alan, what was it like as a game's player? Um, it was the first one of the campaign, isn't it? Um, it's always um, interesting to see how we go. Um, you know, I was sad about playing at home in Italy at home and it was a dream start. And we were fully aware or um, unaware of what Italy were going to bring, a lot of change on their side as well. Um, but ultimately happy with the result. I think. Um, you know, I said in the week, or I said yesterday, sorry, when I uh, did the uh, team and press conference that we wanted the performance. I think we had that in parts. I think the way we came out, potentially uh, defensively in the second half, um, we were a little bit cold in those first 10 minutes, but you know, the, the vein we finished the game uh, was, was probably the biggest posi positive for myself. Nick Tompkins showed at the time that he's on there that um, you know, he's, he's got a lot of talent, he's got a lot of ability, and that's why we were happy to sub him into the game um, when we did in the second half. And, I think a lot of people now know who Nick Tompkins is. Well, you mentioned uh, uh, Byron there. He's obviously following a, a, a legend so far. So how pleasing was it? What, what do you think he's doing with this? Oh, look, he's working very, very hard, like all the coaches are. Um, working with the boys individually as well as collectively as a group and making sure they all understand their roles. And um, you know, We're doing a lot of work on decision-making um, so that the boys are making uh, good decisions. We'll review that game, and I'm sure there were times there where we didn't make the best of decisions. So, as I said, plenty to work on. But I'm very pleased for Byron because um, you know he's a guy that's uh, just working away in the background um, at his craft and, and doing a, a pretty good job. Well, Josh, obviously his try scoring record is extraordinary, considering on the World Cup. Where do you rate him in terms of wingers in the World Game, and how much do you think he can get better in, under your stewardship? Well, I think um, on the world stage, the biggest stage, he was a top try scorer, so he's, he's got to be right up there. So <clears throat> I think that speaks for itself, really. Um, look, at, with Stephen there, uh, running our attack, the way we want to play the game, I think uh, wingers get more opportunities, potentially. So I don't think uh, he's going to be too, uh, too uh, faced by the way we want to play the game. I think he'll enjoy it. When uh, you've uh, known as somebody who enjoys creative rugby, that uh, pass from... Uh, down bigger for the second try. It was something that you must have enjoyed. Yeah, I mean, um, it just shows the uh, confidence in the player, isn't it? Dan's a very confident guy. He knew exactly where his winger was and uh, the situation, and uh, he, he had the skill to execute it beautifully. So, very pleased that Dan all round had a very good game. I think he was uh, one of the guys leading our line speed uh, throughout, and um, uh, you know, I thought he he had a pretty good all round game. Well, I know obviously the players had the Barbars camp just before Christmas and the game, but this is the first competitive game of the stewardship. <coughs> How do you think they responded to your way of doing things so far? Oh, from where I sit, Alan Wynn's a good one to answer that one, but from where I sit, the boys are, are applying themselves. Um, they're uh, doing everything asked of, asked of them and uh, working very hard at their skills and um, working hard at the, the, at the way we want to play the game, the patterns that we're using. So. You know, it's very early days. Um, it's going to take a long time um, before everyone becomes very, very comfortable and becomes second nature. But um, Alan Wynn's probably got a view on it. Um, yeah, it's been good. I think um, I, I, and then the launch, uh, the Six Nations we said about the, the Barbers Week was probably invaluable in the fact of a lot of the, the classroom stuff has been done, a lot of the paperwork's out of the way, and we've been able to do for the last 
two weeks, a uh, week and a half, and um, you know it's the end of the start for us. Um, there's a lot of new faces, a lot of new stuff to get out there, and I think again, um, I know Byron's had a, a few plaudits and have just put some pressure on for the next one, but I think he's probably got the, the hardest uh, shoes to fill, and you know we've got to keep doing that. Um, but ultimately, it's the end of the start, and it's been a positive one. Massively so, yes, um, definitely. Um, so we'll obviously look at them, uh, review our performance, and look at the areas that we need to uh, to concentrate on over the, the coming week. But um, we certainly know that it's going to be a very tough task, and uh, one that we're we're looking forward to.